Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to a live stream here at the uh, Jaded Stitches Show craft room, I guess. <laughs> it's 11.30 uh, a.m. Friday, December the 3rd. Welcome to December. And uh, today we thought we would, we would just have some fun with little mini wreaths. We have a free pattern over on the Pattern Workshop page of our website. Mr. Stitches will put that link in the chat box. Mm -hmm. It'll also be in the pinned comment after this live stream finishes and becomes just a regular video. Some of you may recognize it because we used it last year when uh, I made my ugly Christmas sweater. I don't know how much of my ugly sweater you can see, but um, I just love this thing. It's so ridiculous. This is a crazy combination of um, cute little gingerbread house and uh, sort of associated images that created this ugly Christmas sweater applique project. Um, it's really simple. All you need is a sweater and then you can just slap some appliques on it. The whole project applique um, system actually is available in our Etsy shop if any of you were interested in that. But the wreath that we used, this little sweet thing, we created a freebie of a pattern over on our website. So that's what we're going to use as the basis of today's little amusing ornament. Um, I'm, I've got some ideas. I want to play with the pattern a little bit. Um, I'm not going to change the pattern itself too much, but um, I am going to switch up how I make it. And we'll get into that. But um, kind of just a sort of a, I love using scrap yarn this time of year. This mm -hmm. is a great time of year to get into your stash of yarn and start kind of pulling out the oddball yarns. I feel like the holidays is a great time to use novelty yarns. Novelty yarns are those eyelash yarns or pom-pom yarns or just yarns that are difficult to crochet with, but are like pretty or multicolored or have kind of a neat texture or something. And they make, they make great like accessorizing craft supplies. So for example, if you've got really pretty yarn that's weird and difficult to crochet with, then you might want to just use it as like gift tag strings or use it as just a little bit of like edging for like a stocking or something like that. So I tend to get, I tend to try to remember, oh yeah, let me go check my novelty yarn stash. And sometimes I find someone like, well, I can actually crochet with this. I wouldn't necessarily use it for a regular project, but it might work out for a crafty holiday project. And um, I'm actually going to be using um, some big bulky weird green yarn today. I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try some of my crochet threads. I'm going to go from the really, really big to the really, really small. And then of course I'm going to use some sort of nice size four or five-ish stuff in between. And I'm going to make some wreath ornaments. And we're going to play with the pattern a little bit. So that's what's on tap today. Welcome and um, thank you all for hanging out. If you don't want to fiddle around with this right now, like I said, free pattern over on the website so you can print it off and kind of keep it for later. Um, I hope you have your whips. This is the nuttiest time of year. <laughs> so if you're making a bunch of things for the holidays, for gifts, for donation, maybe you're, you know, doing some last minute orders or whatever, you're trying to sort of fill some stuff, make a little extra money for the holidays, whatever the case may be, this is a busy time of year. And we thought um, we put out our mighty mile a minute December strip on Wednesday. So we tried to get it out. We said we were going to try and get it out early. We always try to get it out just a little bit earlier for everybody who's trying to get that blanket done as a holiday gift. And we got it out on Wednesday. So if you're looking for it, it's out. It's been out for three days. Um, thank you to everybody who's who's picked up a copy of the of the strip pattern too, um, and who's found it and um, and sort of had some conversation about it. We love this one. This was the fastest one yet. We were saving the fastest strip to the end of the year. So I hope you all find it as quick as I did. I don't know if I mentioned this in the video. I can't remember, but I timed myself making the split v-stitch december strip pattern and it took me 11 and a half minutes just to make the strip so not with the border but 11 and a half minutes i was i i was the entire time i was working on that tutorial and making the strip pattern i watched a single youtube video i had to keep pausing it and stuff so <laughs> I, uh, I was really quick with that one anyway that was the fastest one yet i love it it's it doesn't even use up that much yarn um I love the V-stitch. It's one of my favorite, it's my go-to favorite stitch pattern, but um, it's a whole lot of preamble. Uh, so Mr. and Stitch <laughs> is here too. There's a lot to go over today. <laughs> it's been a busy um, week. I'd like to say hi to everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. We have um, lots of hellos from all over the world. Um, oh, from Canada. And uh, also from Canada. We did have yeah. snow. It has melted. Yep, it's so. all gone. <laughs> 
Um, I have got a couple of membership milestones here. Oh, wow. So, uh, Rosalind. Rosalind. Big thank you to Rosalind, who has been a Silk member for six months. Thank you, Rosalind. Rosalind says hello. Hello. Uh, Cherry. <laughs> Cherry. Cherry B has <laughs> sent us a $2 super chat. Thank you, Cherry. Um, afternoon, uh, Miss and Miss J and General G. General Great G. to see you. <laughs> Thank you for Thank that. Thank you, Cherry. <clears throat> and Shelly has sent us a membership milestone. Hey, Shelly. Shelly is a Vicuña member. Thank you, Shelly. For 37 months. Wow. So happy to be a member of your awesome crochet family. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining and thank you for yes, supporting thank you for the our support. show. Oh, and before I forget, thank you, everybody for taking part in our Black Friday sale over at our Etsy shop. It was very successful. We really appreciate everybody popping over and showing some support. There were a lot of people there um, who popped in with questions and just to sort of say happy holidays. And it was really festive. It was like the nicest kickoff to the holiday season. And um, you just reminded me, we have, we have had a lot of um, viewers ask, not everyone reads written patterns. No. But they want to like support the show. They want to, buy something so uh, we have a lot more stuff that's not patterns yes now. we've been working very hard at that yeah so we have the do you want to go yeah, over sure. them and we, then i think i saw your our little, little bookmarks behind you they show you yes can show them after i do okay so we have um in addition to everything in our shop is for digital download um so we've got obviously all of our crochet patterns but we also have the project journal kits which is um the stuff you can it's a sort of a kit you can download it you can print it out and you can create your own crochet project journal um, in a three ring binder with it. And we've got some kind of like um, additions to that. So we've got a seasonal project planner kit that goes with the project journal kit. Uh, either one of them are fine on their own, but they kind of also work together nicely. We've got our 2022 calendar, uh, which is a calendar. It's every month of the year for 2022 plus um, goodies and ideas. And there's some, some crochet print, um, patterns and stuff involved in it, but there's templates and there's all sorts of fun and neat things there. And that's for printing. We have new Dizzit bookmarks that you can download and print out and uh, punch a little hole in, put a little ribbon or even a little crochet tassel in. Show them. And I've got, uh, I've got three of them right here. Mr. and Stitches was busy designing them. So we've got <laughs> three come on a page. And I've, I've added some little crochet things to it. So there's, um, there are two by, like, they're like one and a half inch or two inch um, wide. And then I think these two are like six inches long. And then this one's a little bit longer. So we have a slightly longer one. And too. then there's a the little pattern to make the tag. And we have a separate pattern. Yeah. <laughs> if you wanted to make some fun little toggles and tags, yeah. but the, the actual bookmark, if you're not in, if you don't read patterns, um, but you love bookmarks and I mean, anybody can sort of tie a little ribbon or something into the top or a tassel if you've got them. Um, these are really fun. And uh, Joanne actually, um, she, she got uh, a set of the bookmarks and she cut them up and then she laminated them. And yeah, they, they really, turned really out cool. fantastic. So if you have a laminator, then you might want to play with that too. Go for it. Um, and we've got, I think there's, oh, we have coloring sheets. So if you're into journaling or coloring or your kids are into coloring, um, or you just sort of like to zen out and do a little, do a little little coloring with crayons or pencil crayons or whatever. We've also got coloring sheets. We have a whole series of those um, that are really cute and whimsical designs. All the sheets have a, like a little bit of theme kind of going to them. Um, we've got, one of them actually is a tag. So if you like to make things and then add like a little gift tag to it, one of the templates, uh, one of the coloring sheets is, is actually like little gift tags. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, there's now. a bunch we've been, of new we've been stuff really busy because, this year. Yeah, we've we've tried to add some things that aren't patterns mm -hmm. for those that don't really do written patterns. So we have lots of stuff now, mm -hmm. um, and also we have the t-shirts and the yeah, we've the, got the what do you call it? Shop. The merch. Yep, the merch. T-shirts. Now spring, I guess they, mugs, they changed their name. Um, we've got the little uh, the little pouches. The little pouch with the yeah, girls on to it. put your hooks in. Anyway, so that's available. Thank you, everybody, for your wonderful support. And uh, getting back to the vid today, we do have free patterns over on, on the web page, and that's where this one's inspiration is coming from today. And um, <laughs> I even wore my little my little sweater because I really was, was proud of this. It's not so much ugly as it is silly and kind of extra cute, but 
Um, Data doesn't do ugly. I, I try. I try. You title things ugly, but <laughs> you don't. You don't actually accomplish ugly. I, I tried to make it ugly, but then I just get <laughs> I get carried away with an idea and, and off it goes. So I, I'm not really sure how. We I should do a poll on how ugly people think your your ugly sweater. Yeah, we should. We should do a poll. Set that up, Mister. All right, I'm been working on it. So first, show it to All everyone. Right, this was go. last year. This if anyone's last year's... curious, we have live streams. About that yeah, we shirt. did three. I think it was three in a row. I think it was we worked last on it. Year. <laughs> it was last year, and um, it's a little gingerbread house, and it's got a star in the sky and a little tree next to it, and a little candy, little candy standing there, and um, big wreath on the top of the house. I just love the way this house came together. And of course, Santa is uh, tumbling down the chimney, kind of got himself stuck, as he might do if your chimney's a little on the small side. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. We did that one last year. And I didn't know what I was going to do when we started. I just sort of kind of went with it. So that, that, was, that was a lot of fun. But the day we made this cute little wreath, I got so excited about it that we wrote it up and put it up on the, the website for everybody. And that's what I want to try. I want to revisit the wreath this year. Um, in fact, I'm going to put my glasses on. Just polish them off a little bit. And I wanted to try and make some of these to hang on the tree or to kind of use the pattern in some slightly different ways. So as it stands, you can use this little wreath applique with or without the snow on top. Um, just plain is fine. And you can use it as an applique. You can just make some and just hang them like a regular little ornament. There's nothing showing on the back side. Like the front and the back are both cute. Um, so you don't need to worry about the back looking funny. So it's a cute little thing to hang on the tree. There, it's. It's so fast. I think you need about five yards of yarn. It's two rows. It is so quick. Um, if you were looking for like a little last minute cute ornament gift to give out to a group of people, then I think we talked about that on one of our previous live streams. This would be it. So I'm going to make one normal as it stands right now, and we'll see just how quick it comes together. Um, so I'm using the yarn I'm going to start with is just a typical size four, size five. I say size four, size five, because this is technically a size five, but I have some size four yarns that are about <laughs> as thick as this. All right, the poll is up. Take part in the poll, everyone, if, you're, uh, if you got your chat running. Somehow I have a knot already. I haven't even started and I have a knot already. <laughs> I am going to read out some more um, supers here. Okay. Let's see, where did I leave off? I guess it's not at itself. Did I get to... The last one you mentioned was Shelly. She Shelly was so happy to be a member of your awesome crochet family. Okay, thank you, Shelly. And uh, a membership milestone from Dara. 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 Member for 22 <laughs> months. Thanks, Silk Dara. member. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. That's an and... amusingly innovative way of saying people's names. Let's see here. Yours truly by Rose has been an alpaca member for 10 months. Thank you, Rose. Thanks for always keeping my whips list full. <laughs> uh -huh. I think I got to everyone there. Right. Franca has sent us a milestone. Hi, Franca. Member for 16 months, alpaca. Hello, Franca. Wow, thank you. I'm just, uh, and just, just in case anybody's wondering. It's coffee. Yes. It's the first coffee of the day. So if I seem a little bonkers, it's because I'm still working my way through the first coffee of the day. But I actually had a pretty good night's sleep last night, which isn't something I usually get to brag about. So uh, I'm feeling bright this morning. Perfect for a Friday morning live stream. Not that 1130 is super early in the morning, but but uh, we, we do have a lot to sort of do when we're getting ready for a live stream. So I didn't actually have a chance to sit down and enjoy my coffee until about five minutes before we got going here. Okay, I'm going to make one of our little Christmas wreath ornaments to start just the way we've got it written. So we start with a slip stitch on our hook and we chain 12, nice and easy. So if you wanna make one along with me, I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook to go with my thick-ish size four or five yarn, but you can use any hook size, any yarn weight that you feel comfortable with. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> this is from Tori, one of our channel members. Hey, Tori. Tori says, you guys are the best. Had my therapy this morning and talked about your channel oh. and my therapist said, you are good for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank so, you. 
Therapy approved. Therapy approved. Thank you. Wow, what an what an honor. I guess no. I'm 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 I feel um honored's not the right word. What's the word I'm looking for? Stunned? <laughs> I'm 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 amazed and surprised. That's really sweet. I'm really glad to hear that. I, I'm just <laughs> I'm thinking I could use therapy myself. We could we could use a therapy. Maybe we should join Tori in her <laughs> Just be completely Hi. breaking down into tears. Just a complete mess. Head in the hands, you know, like oh, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I think you know what, Tori. Tori, I'm, we have our we have our days too. Every I think I think that is that is both the sadness and the beauty of the human existence. We are we are struggling through every single day, and we have highs and we have lows, and we have long chunks of time where we're not even sure we're in the right place or even the right time. I think all of us feel that we feel out of sync. We feel out of sync with time, with friends, with everything. So. If, if you're feeling, especially at this time of year, if you're feeling a bit broken, let down, unwanted, any of those things, you're in the right place because we, we love everybody <laughs> to <laughs> hang out with us here. We're just, I don't know. This is, this is, uh, this is not an easy time of year. And if you already well, especially are, especially recently, especially recently, but if you're, if you're struggling with any of the usual, you know, human, human condition things that can feel stronger or like sometimes worse or better depending on the time of the year or even what's going on in your life especially right now with COVID <laughs> and everything then uh welcome put your feet up grab your crochet let's have some laughs together and uh, and forget about the it's rest nice of the world to be able to you know kind of escape a little bit mm -hmm. in, in um in it's craft. so important Whatever to have a hobby. Is. This Whatever is your why hobby is it can be anything this is why it's important to have a hobby and uh, it helps you kind of Hobbies remind you, you know, that you are a creative brain, being. Relax your relax yes. your thoughts a little bit. Yeah, you zen out a little zen bit. Out a Calm little. down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> back to lighter things. <laughs> chain 12. Join with a slip stitch to the first chain to make a ring. Nice and simple. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create six little bumps all the way around. So every other chain around our 12 chain ring, we're going to skip. And all of the chains in between the skip chains, we're gonna work a little tiny motif into it. So you can, I guess, work into the same stitch that you joined in. We are going to chain one. And I'm gonna work over top of my short tail into the same chain that you joined with a slip stitch. Work a single crochet. And that first one might be a little tight, but it's okay. It'll look good. Two double crochet into the same chain. It's gonna be kinda, kinda tight. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Shout out to Cameron. Thank you, Cameron, Hi, for Kenny. sharing our uh, video titles and dates. Thank if you. anyone wants to um, find what we are talking about, you can just copy Cameron's um, chat and then paste it in Google yes. or in YouTube and you'll find the video. Thank right you, away. Cammie. It's, um, it's the live stream we did last yeah, year. Yeah, Countdown to Christmas Crochet Party Ugly Sweater Part 1. Ah, thank you. I just forgot. Yeah, <laughs> almost a year ago, a year and ago. Um, there were three, I think, in a row. Yep, yeah, we did three days in a row. If I remember correctly. Boy, that year went by fast. It sure did. Wow. 2022, here we come. <laughs> Something new for 2022, my friends. All right, single crochet, <laughs> two double crochet, and a single crochet to finish it off all in the same little chain. It'll be tight, but that's okay. And I'm just going to pull up my little hook. That is what you've got. It's a oh. little little bit a big ring that's the chain 12 ring and the little motif we're doing single crochet two double crochet single crochet all into the same chain looks like that it's a little bubble skip the next chain along the ring find the chain after that so you skip a chain in between every motif skip one and then repeat single crochet two double crochet and single crochet <laughs> we have a few membership milestones here Big thank you to Butterfly Dolphin Crochet. I love that. Butterfly Dolphin Crochet. Who has been a Merino member for 15 months. <laughs> thank you. Hi, man. Um, hi, managed to get to watch you on a day off. Live. Oh, Excellent. wonderful. Oh, Fridays are a yes. great day off. It's great to have Friday. Um, a big thank you to Lori, who's been a Silk member for 11 months. Thank you, Lori. In this crazy world right now, you guys are my sanity and my peace. Thank you. Well, thank you. Honestly, you guys are kind of doing the same thing for us. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Thank God for crochet. That's all I can say. Single crochet, two double crochet, two single crochet, two double crochet, yeah. single crochet, every other chain. Lots of uh few a few people in our uh, chat here are on their first cup of coffee. We we had our we, we started our coffee late today. Started the coffee late. I will probably zip out and make myself another one um, momentarily because I'm just getting to the bottom of my first cup. <laughs> Is that, I think, was that a new tin you opened this morning? Is that why it smelled so good? No. Oh. Well, it's new-ish. New-ish? I didn't open it this morning, oh. but I opened it like a few, a couple of days ago, maybe. Oh, the whole kitchen smelled like roasted smelled coffee for a moment, and it was so nice. <laughs> it's the little things. It's the little things that I get you through. I love sticking my face in fresh, open coffee. It smelled amazing. It smells so good. Okay, <laughs> here we are. So... On a 12 ring. Man, you made that fast. That's what I'm talking about. This what is a fast the, little ornament. How did you do that? So you chain 12. <laughs> blink. Join to make a ring. And of course, every other chain around <clears throat> the ring is where you work a motif. And a motif is one single crochet, two double crochet, one single crochet, all worked into the same chain. It feels a little tight, but that's okay because it creates sort of like a little bumpy... Um, I don't know what to call that. It's but it's the the motif itself kind of bubbles out a little bit, so you get like kind of a three dimensional feel going on your on your wreath. It feels really good. You have six, of course, and then you can. What's my little thing here? You're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet you made. So you finish that row by joining with a slip stitch. Now you can be done here if you want, or you can work the second row of the pattern, which is kind of. I like it because it firms up the inside of the um, the applique and it also makes it like, it gives it a bit of a base if you wanted to decorate it later with beads or buttons or kind of like what I did here. So all you do, you've got those 12 chains that run around the inside of your reef. You're just gonna take your hook and right from where you are, you're gonna slip your hook through the first chain that sits right below wherever you join. There is no fine science here. So don't be at, don't be sort of worried. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have the right chain. I, I don't know if I put it in the right place. doesn't matter. You're just going to put your hook right through each chain of that foundation chain ring. So your yarn's out the back. You put your hook right through it, grab the yarn, pull it back and slip stitch. And you're just going to slip stitch through each of those 12 chains. And if you don't get them all, it doesn't matter. And if you only get like, you know, if you end up with a few extra, maybe you've got like, you end up with 13 or 14 slip stitches, doesn't matter. This is one of those wonderfully forgivable little patterns. But all you're doing is slip stitching around the center of your reef, and it's gonna create a nice little finishing edge. It gives it a little bit more texture. It gives it a little bit more like oomph, like, like kind of like a, 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 a bow, a pine bow reef kind of looks. And it's just a nice way to finish things off. Gives it a little bit of strength. Um, so just slip stitch through each of those chains. Every other chain will be one that a motif was worked into. So it'll be big and easy to see. Um, and every one in between will be a little bit smaller. But it doesn't matter if you get all 12. It doesn't matter if you wind up with more or less. Then just slip stitch into the last chain or the same chain you started in. Again, doesn't matter. And fasten off. Snip your yarn. You can put your hook through the center of the ring to grab that yarn to fasten off. Now, if you're gonna use this as an applique, leave a long tail so you can sew the applique down with it. Otherwise, just cut a little tail like I did, especially if you're gonna use it as a little ornament, and then weave your tail in around on the back. There's plenty of stitches back there that you can just sort of put your little hook under, or I should say your needle, and uh, thread up that mm. tail. Sherry, one of our channel members, my son, who just turned 19, is in Japan oh. and heard you in the background awesome. and said this is a, I think that's tough year, and he misses watching you with me. Aww. Uh, He's in Japan. Japan is the top of my list of places I want to go We want to visit Japan so bad. Yes. We, we watch a lot of... Um, People uh, who travel, live in Japan. Yeah, and... travel videos in Japan mm -hmm. and people who live there, and there's a really good one called... Abroad in Japan. Abroad in Japan. Now he's, he swears a little bit, yeah, so if you've got little ones, yeah, don't be watching he does it. Swear, but he's but, very but funny. He's he's, he's British. Not too bad. He's British, and he he kind of leans into that whole like sardonic British yeah. guy thing. Anyway, 
excellent. He does documentaries. He does yeah. sort of wandering around videos. He's a really good videographer. Love his channel. He's got some friends there in Japan that from, sort of helps explain things. He speaks Japanese. Yeah, maybe your son can check him out. And if, uh, if he he's got he's, knows him he's got a couple of friends. Maybe they I don't know. Maybe they are nearby. Who knows? But uh, they seem like a good group. It of sounds guys. like there's there's quite a, 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 a quite a community of expats of English speaking expats there are. in Japan. They go teach English yeah. there. I think my cousin and, did it. My cousin taught in Japan. That's yeah. the reason I want to I want to teach so, there. That's really Shout wonderful. out to your son. Hang in there. It is tricky to be away from home though during the, the holidays, especially when it's like you're you're kind of a brand new adult and that's like your your first thing. So hi. <laughs> hi out there on the other side of the world. It's um it's an exciting time. I I, I feel like I was 19 five minutes ago. So <laughs> enjoy it because it goes by fast. <laughs> Shout out to all of our members and our subscribers. Yes, yes. We appreciate everyone. Everybody helps. To thank make you this for watching our videos. So um, thank you. Subscri uh, any subscription is a is a form of support. Mm -hmm. uh, um, clicking a, a the like one. button yeah. is a big form of support. Watching our videos, it's all leaving it's all comments adds to the helping out with people in the comments. It's yeah. all wonderful. We really appreciate it. Um, I have a, a membership milestone. Here. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this because that's how, how I'm just. It's, Wow, you made it almost exact. It, like it was the last one. See how? See, it's a simple little shape. Same color and everything. Right, and then we'll talk about the little ways that you can make it look a little bit more like a wreath, I guess. Okay, wreath. okay we have some membership. Mod wow, a whole bunch have come in all at once. Did I get to Lori's uh, Membership milestone um, in this crazy world right now. You guys are my yes. Son, my you read Lori's. Okay, that. so, so um, Alia, Alia, hey, Alia, who's been a Silk member for 26 months. <laughs> Good morning from Warm Phoenix, Arizona, oh. USA. Y'all mm. got y'all are great. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely warm thoughts. I don't know how cold it is out there today, but I'm gonna guess it's around zero. Yeah, maybe just zero under. Celsius. Which Okay, this is going to sound so Canadian, A, eh? but zero is beautiful. I love zero. Zero is like, it's... it's if it's not windy. If it's not it's, windy it's and very, it's sunny. It's very, very nice. Temperature. Oh, it's so nice. You the can, air is crispy. It's crisp and clean, but it doesn't make your nostrils go, and then yeah. you stay shut when you breathe in. <laughs> yeah. But it's fresh, and and uh, you can go out with just like a like a hat and your favorite scarf, yeah. and like a light jacket, light jacket, and go for a walk. Zero is lovely. That, I know that sounds really Canadian. Yeah, <laughs> Um, Kathy has been a member for 15 months. So Kathy, member. thank you. Shout out, thank you. Thank you very much. Hook, hook Crochet, love you Same. guys. Has Hi. been a Silk member for 28 months. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Amy, <laughs> a Silk member for six months. Good morning, Jada and Mr. and Stitches. I'm recovering from COVID slash pneumonia. Oh. At home on oxygen. Your videos have helped me get in the Christmas mood. Well, we're glad to hear you're at home and you're recovering. Excellent. And uh, keep stay tackling. strong. Yeah, stay strong and smile. I don't know if you can laugh oh. when you're on, but but try we to have, laugh because it makes you. We have some faster. members that are familiar with abroad in Japan. Yes. And enjoy it. Yeah, it's very entertaining. It's very entertaining. He's a, he's very entertaining, and it's fun because he he travels. He does. So you get to kind of see, you know. But his cinematography is like yeah, really good. Yeah, he does a really good yeah. job uh, putting his videos together. And he's funny. He always makes me laugh. Very funny. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm looking around here for a pretty color. <laughs> Shelly says, huge echo on the sanity saving aspect of your life. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> We're just but humble little Canadians. We are humble sitting little in our dorks. Sitting dorky in our little house. Dorky, in our dorky little clothes. <laughs> in our dorky little world. In our dorky little world. I... I... <laughs> We're just like you. <laughs> we're, we're trying to, trying to, to, to keep it. You know what? Keeping a smile on your face is a lot easier. Impossible. <laughs> Some days, yeah. <laughs> Keeping a smile on your face is a lot easier to do when you've got sugar in your bloodstream, <laughs> caffeine in your mug. When you have, when you, when you have people to hang out with, even if it's just virtual. Uh, especially when you can share something in common like a hobby. And I, I've, I've loved hobbies my entire life. I have been into crafting right from the word go. I have always loved to craft. I have always wanted to sit down and kind of get into that little creative zone. Um, I don't remember a time in my life. When, my earliest memory is of 
I have two, two really, really early memories. One was 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 playing a little a little child's piano and 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 being delighted by the fact that I could put notes together. <clears throat> and I think I was like two when I got that. And the other one, I was three and I had made myself uh, a little, I'd taken a toilet paper roll and stuck stuck stickers on it and made it look like a stoplight at nursery school. And it was my new favorite toy. And I remember just being so ridiculously proud of this toilet roll stoplight <laughs> that it just obviously imprinted in my brain that, and, but I'd made it, I'd made it and I was so delighted. So I don't remember a time in my life when I wasn't in love Jada with crafting. Jada has been a, an epic crafter since literally birth. Yes. I love crafting. And I think it's, it you being... came out with crafting supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Point me in the direction of the craft table. I couldn't even lift my head. You yet. came out and slid right into <laughs> right Michael, into Michael's into, into a craft store. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I, I think I, I, I you think probably though, embroidered your first diaper. I think a lot of people, though, find not just solace, but actual joy in making stuff. And I think part of the joy is being able to share that with people. And so when we all sit here and we all make things, even if we're not making the same thing at the same time, we all know we're being creative and it just, I don't know, it feels good. It feels great. Um, Helps me keep a smile the on my face. border blank, the blanket border video is coming. <laughs> yes, it'll be a, probably a few days, a couple of days. It's maybe. coming, yeah, a couple days. Um, the last strip went up Wednesday. We tried to get it up a little early yes. for everyone. Yep. So it's up if you missed it. Now, a couple things I want to say about the the border. So mind me here, guys. I'm trying to tie myself a little bow while I while I chat. Um, the border, <laughs> the border tutorial is coming. It's going to be unique for the for the blanket itself. But like we've mentioned in the December video, and I think a couple other times, if you're in a mad rush, you can add a border to that blanket that is anything you would use on a granny square blanket because we use the shell stitch around the edge. So that lovely set of three <clears throat> concept continues all the way around the entire edge of the blanket. Um, so anything you would work on a granny square, you can, you can use as a border and it can be simple. It can be crazy. You can use up all the colors you want. You can make it a single color. It's entirely up to you. So if you were going to, you know, if you really wanted to get it done, that's all it needs. Um, you could do a row of double crochet and a row of single crochet. You could do another row of shell and a row of single crochet. You could do a couple rows of half double crochet and a little pico edging. Anything that you would do on a granny square blanket would work on this blanket too. So if you want to vary up the, the edge or you're in a hurry, those all work. We've got some border tutorials on the channel that you could use. And uh, we'll make sure those are in the description box as well at the end of this video, just in case you're in. But I think we also included them in the pinned comment and the description box of the December MMA video. I don't think we did the pinned comment yet. <clears throat> Have we not done that no, yet? No, but we can. We, will. we, we will. can do that today. Yeah. But it is in the description box. Uh, we're getting flooded with super stickers and super chats and Thanks, membership guys. milestones. Aww. So um, I'd like to get to those. Okay. I'd also like to get to the poll. So if anyone oh, yeah, has, <laughs> um, hasn't taken part in the poll yet, take part in that. And I'm going to shut that down in a minute or two. So um, just quickly, guys, I tied a quick bow with yarn, excuse me. And um, you can use ribbon, yarn, whatever you've got. Add a little bow and it immediately looks more like a little wreath. I'm just going to sew that on um, so it doesn't go anywhere. I've got my little sewing thread while Mr. and Stitches reads. <laughs> uh, big welcome to everyone that has, you know, it's finally catching us. Um, I know it's hard, you know, it's hard to keep up with uh, with stuff. And it's nutty this time. We've got, year. we've got our, our list of, you know how you can add to list? Yes. We have uh, Netflix, we have YouTube, we have prime we have blah 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 and it's like the list just keep getting longer it's hard to it's hard to keep up with them this is definitely the era of media yeah yeah this is this is we are so we, we are we are for, as for a society we are swimming, swimming literally in, in an ocean of media it never used to be well that. i mean when when see this is and this is this is that hopeful thought when you when you've created, <clears throat> excuse me, when you have a system like YouTube <clears throat> that allows people to share the things they love, like hobbies. And I mean, there are so many hobbies. There are endless numbers of hobbies when those people can share their hobby and the kind of things that they like to do with other people. The you you will there is not enough time in a lifetime to mm -hmm. even do all the projects 
for a single hobby like crochet. Then there's knitting and embroidery and then there's cross stitch and there's woodworking and there's oh my gosh there's just oh, gardening it, there's there is so much hundreds of thousands and and then for every <laughs> single little thing there's minutia like yeah. like like i love to make doll clothing well i don't have enough time in my life to do all the doll clothing i want to make and yeah. anyway it's just the you sewing. can just sit i love to just sit and watch sewing tutorials and sit and watch doll stuff I just sit and watch it. I may never even make it, but I just love to sit and watch it because it, I feel like in my brain I'm making it. <laughs> and while I'm I watching that, that, that yeah. I'm making something with my hands. There is, we're just spoiled. We're spoiled for wonderful creative yeah. entertainment. I just so when you do get yeah. here, we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for catching our uh, our little show. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna shut down the, the poll. poll and then I'm gonna read out some of these supers. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna super super okay so that is I think I got to that one all right so let's shut the pole down I'm just stitching like sewing needle and thread my little my little simple bow here someone was asking about hook sizes so mm -hmm. can you what what size hook are you using so for this anyone and can that you you're use comfortable something with. bigger or smaller yep yep so this is one of those patterns that you can, and I'm going to show you here in a minute how you can you can really get a different look depending on the, the yarn and the hook you use. Um, this is a size four or five medium chunky, doesn't really matter, uh, yarn. And I used a five and a half millimeter hook, which is also an I or a nine. But <clears throat> you can use any hook you like, any hook that is comfortable in your hand that goes with the yarn you're using. So if you're using a really thick yarn, obviously you want to use a bigger hook. If you're using something like a crochet thread, obviously you want to use a tiny little hook. Um, and it's such a fast little pattern that all you have to do is chain the first 12 chains and you'll know just by looking at it whether or not you want to use a bigger hook or a smaller hook to match your yarn. Um, the way you know you want to use a bigger hook is if it's really tight and difficult and your stitches are really small, you want a bigger hook. If your stitches are really big and gappy, you want a smaller hook. That's all you need to know. And then you can use any hook you want any yarn you want, you can use crazy novelty <laughs> yarn to go with this pattern. This is really fun. I pronounced Dara's name correctly. Good. I'm glad to hear that, Dara. Mm -hmm. I like that, Dara. So I get points. You get extra points. I get extra baked cookies. Extra today. baked cookies. Uh -huh. uh, okay, so let me work through these. Okay. Um, this is a shout out to Kelly, who has sent us a $5 super chat. Thank you, Kelly. I have leftover mustard color chenille Ooh. yarn, so I'm mm. making chicken nugget plushies as stocking stuffers. Glad to have company to boost my crojo. I love that. That's awesome. Chicken nugget stuff. It's always fun to have little stuffed toys. <laughs> Food. Are you going to put like little googly eyes on them or something? Oh, that's cute too. That's, that's, <laughs> um, I'm picturing them sticking out of the top. Like... Yeah, yeah, with their little eyes. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Dara, Dara. who sent us a, a super sticker, Thank $5 you, dollar super sticker. It's the little hippo clapping. Aw. GG. I think Thank you. Is that supposed to be good, good game? Good. Good game? Good something. GG. I'm not sure exactly what GG stands for, but <laughs> the little clapping hippo good is game? cute. Probably good game. Uh, Louise has sent us Hi, a Louise. membership milestone. Ooh. Louise has been a member for Silk member for 37 months. Wow. I think that is right at the beginning. Right at the very beginning. When we started this stuff. Thank you. Uh, love you all. I hope you all have a very merry holidays, however you celebrate. Thanks. Yeah, Thank and that goes you. for everybody. I, even if you're just taking a day off, if you don't celebrate anything. My favorite way is to put my feet up, eat good food and good snacks, and like, I don't know, catch up on shows or video games or just chill. I like I like the calm, relaxing holiday. I love taking a walk and waving at the neighbors. I love sitting with uh, <clears throat> my furry nieces and uh, and giving them cans of tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I like I love to sit and make make something for me. Like we we uh, that I don't have to really think about kind of creating creating anything extra around. Like if I'm sewing or if I'm I just love to get into a project. Put on a couple of Christmas movies. I love I love like having oh, at yeah, least one Christmas day movies. where That's I get to do that. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Christmas movies. I like the I like the Christmas movies that are slightly offbeat. I like those too. You know, the ones that are kind of, I don't know, you'd call them independent type films. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Um, so thank you, Louise. Uh Jessica Rabbit. Hey Jessica. It looks like Jessica has joined our membership. Thank you, Jessica. Oh my goodness. Ms. Rabbit has joined the family. 
Welcome. I thought Jessica Rabbit was a member. That's because she's been here talking for so long. I remember I Jessica Jessica's, Rabbit's name for years. Jessica's been a subscriber for like ever, I guess. I don't <laughs> think this is a re-welcome. I think this is no. an official super welcome. Well, thank you, <laughs> thank Jessica. You. Joined our Silk membership. Ooh. Make sure you check out the community tab yes. of our YouTube channel. Go through all of the posts because we have all kinds of that goes for all behind members the scenes and all subscribers. And we have tons of stuff on our community tab for yeah. members and for subscribers. And there's stuff for subscribers yes. too. If there's something for everybody, yeah, we put a lot there. You'll see. You'll see it when you scroll through it. Okay. So just quickly, you could add some beads to that if you wanted, or there you go. One very simple little reef. Gosh, that's cute. I use some bright pink yarn because I love that that pink. Um, you can use ribbon if you want. Um, you can use string if you want. You can use novelty yarn if you want. Whatever you want to do to, to hang it. I just cut a length, knotted the two ends together, and pulled the loop through just a loop of a stick the top middle of the reef, and then looped the knot back through the, the, the looped up yarn, and voila, it hangs nice and flat. So that's one. Mr. is going to continue talking in a moment. I'm going to go get a second cup of coffee, and then when I come back, I am going to create a chunky version of this wreath. <laughs> I also would like a second cup would of you? coffee. Oh, do you want to go um, get them? Uh, you go ahead. I'll read out. Well, no, you should no, be I'll here. You them. should be here. Yeah. Okay. Let's finish reading oh. out the supers. Okay. Then we'll go get our coffee. We'll we'll give everyone a break from a our, break for our, two our annoying uh, voices. <laughs> <laughs> Let people's again. ears heal. <laughs> Let them calm Let down. Let them calm down a little, and then we'll we'll be right back. Um, we'll put uh, we'll put our little our little cactus on on camera. And can, or you can just can go, or, or you can go and, and fix our coffees. I don't have to leave if you're going to go get the coffees. I can stay here because we I think you're better than me. <laughs> I want to get in. I want to get into my new yard. I'm trying to. I'm going to hang my little wreath somewhere. We've been binge watching Seinfeld lately. Yes, totally. yes, we have been. <laughs> so if you hear us kick into like some funny New York accent, that's why. <laughs> that's why. We, we, we've been watching it so much. You know when you watch something We're so like much? super binging. Or yeah, like if you if you ever, I don't know if you found this, if you've ever read like a bunch of Shakespeare, all of a sudden you start sort of speaking with twas and the and all of that. You <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So shout out to Darren. Um, Hi, Darren. A membership milestone has been a member for seven months. Wow. Thank you. A big shout out to Carol who has sent us a $5 super sticker. Thank you, Carol. It's the, uh, the very happy pair dancing and like blowing a little like, you know, the party thing. Wonderful. Dara's back. Dara. Can you make a dice bag pattern? Yes, actually we have a great dice bag pattern. Mm, we have several. Um, we have several. Um, the, the lion brand one. But the little, the little, the... that one's cute. I'm thinking more of the charm bag. Oh, the charm bag from like way, from way back. back. So Whoa. we've got a charm Let's bag Let's see how pattern. good our employee of the month is. Yes. Let's see if Cammy. Can, Cameron can find that one. We have a charm bag pattern that's really basic and simple. We're going and, into the archives. And then I recommend if you're, <laughs> if it's, if it's a dice bag for a particular game, we've got a little um, moon a very small moon emoji or a moon applique. And we have a really tiny little star applique. And either one of those is the perfect size for putting on that charm bag. Um, and if you want to see what they both look like with the different appliques on it, you can pop over to our Etsy shop and take a look at the pattern because <laughs> we've got more photographs there. That's another thing, guys. If you're ever wondering like what different versions or different angles of a project we've done looks like, Visit our Etsy shop. You can you can go through all of the photographs that are associated with a single um, <clears throat> project. Um, just just in case you're you know if you're like oh I, I wanted to see this from a different angle or you know I, I'd like to see like because sometimes the photo the thumbnail is just the one angle mm -hmm. and sometimes in a live like in, in the intro when we're talking like you know maybe it's not enclosed or maybe it's it's you know you, you can't pause it fast enough. Visit the Etsy shop. We always have a bunch of photographs for each individual project, mm -hmm. and you can just scroll through them and look at yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. So that's a it's another good place to go find some photographs. So thank you, Dara. Thank Five you, Dara. Super chat. I hope you find that uh, bag. What was the title? It, I think it was something called charm a, a charm bag. bag. I think it was charm bag. It's got it's blue. Cammy will find it. Yeah, it's, Cameron um, will find it. It's. It's and if Cameron doesn't find it, his his uh, employee of the month picture is <laughs> it coming. It's coming off the wall. <laughs> uh, but specifically about that bag, it's like the perfect size for some <laughs> dice. If you have a lot of dice, we've got little animal uh, pouches which um, are 
a perfect little dice bag size. Oh, what about so the we've little, got yeah. <clears throat> we've got a rabbit pouch, we've got a um we've got a chick pouch, we've got a pumpkin pouch, an apple pouch, we've got a cat pouch, uh we have a pattern in Etsy shop for a panda pouch. Um I we've got a little bear go to pouch. Our playlists and look up bags and purses or something. We have a lot probably of probably be in there. We have a yeah. lot. Uh, and the basic pouch can be can be you know you make the pouch and then you can add whatever little. And then we have a million applique tutorials we have a lot so of to applique. add a little design. To yeah, it. Um, and they're like the perfect size for a bunch of dice. Yeah. Um, so a shout out to Carla, who's been a, a Vicuña member for two months. Thank Good you, morning. Good, Good morning. morning to you. Good morning. Um, Angela, welcome to no a re welcome to Angela. Angela has rejoined our silk level. Welcome, Angela. Thank you again. Um, does that look ridiculous if I hang this on my ear? I mean, is that a dumb question? Is everything that really... you're wearing right now looks ridiculous. That's true. <laughs> so just add it to the pile. <laughs> I thought, I thought maybe. <laughs> Fine, gee. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know I'm You see, the, sec the secret to a good marriage you is, know is, is absolute honesty. <laughs> Just blatant, hard honesty. As heavy as, as possible. Does this make me look silly? <laughs> Everything makes you look silly. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> honesty is the best policy. It's true. It is true. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I... I think I'm getting through it here. We got, I said, we got Angela. So, hey, do you want to hear the poll? Yes, yes. Um, so, how ugly <laughs> is Jada's ugly sweater design? Yes, how ugly is So, this? the first selection is, it's more cute than ugly, 52%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second option, that's the cutest sweater ever, 32%. <laughs> Uh, not so much. This seems like 10%, a skewed pool. And very, very ugly. Very ugly. Five percent. Five percent. So it looks it. like it's more cute than ugly wins, and that's the cutest sweater ever. Is in second place. <laughs> this was. It may be weird. Jada tries ugly. It may be kind of it, it ugly cute. Doesn't work out. But it was a lot of fun to do. That was that was the best part, I think. And but but sitting and because we made it with all of you guys, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was really fun. That was we did three I enjoyed three that. streams in a three days in a row. Yeah, making that. Yeah, sweater. and it's fun, kind of in so real time. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Yeah, You'll probably watch them. Watch them in order. Yeah, watch it in order. Kind of something Part you can one, stick two, on in the three. background and be amused by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm going to jump into this. So PG stands for General Goofy. General okay, Goofy. Well, I can accept that. Uh -huh. Great game, General Goofy. Great game, Love good it. game, General Goofy. This is a super bulky size 7 yarn. Uh, I don't even really know or care what the fiber content is because I'm making an ornament out of it. And I think it's a wool blend, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> this is like the biggest. This is not the biggest. This is the slightly, almost the biggest crochet hook I have. Okay. This would be like a 16 millimeter. <laughs> Or a, a P, an N, a P, big one, anyway. One of our channel members, Connie, says, Hello, Jada. My daughter keeps pushing me to start a crafting YouTube channel. Hi, What's your advice? Well, start. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, record a video and... Um, yeah. Um, we just started. Put it up. <laughs> we just started. I think... I think you, you need to decide what you want to do. Yeah. Um, um, but you don't... Gosh, you know. you know, if I were if I were doing it all over again right now, I'm not I'm not sure if we would do anything different. Um, Mister and Stitches is is the driving kind of engine behind this because I'm not super techie. I used to be, but I'm too busy doing the the, the hobby stuff now. So um, it's not difficult. Recording no. a video and uploading it isn't hard. I'd say the most important thing to to running a YouTube channel is remember that speak to the camera as though you were speaking to your favorite person because that's who is watching it's the person the person that you want to help if you've got something helpful to say the person that you want to you know uh, amuse whoever it is that finds you is exactly who is watching and they're the kind of person you want to talk to in the first place. Um, and, and you want to talk about something that you really enjoy. Yeah. Otherwise, talk about what lights you, you up. Be, you won't be able to like continue. Because like, it's a it lot needs of work. To be something that 
makes you excited. Yeah, or... it's 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 definitely a, a labor of love. You you YouTube channels are a labor of love. Yes. Um, because they are a tremendous amount of work, and that isn't to scare you away because the things that you love don't really feel like work. But um, also remember that like if it's, if if you're putting out a video, and this goes for anybody about any topic, if your grandmother is insulted by it, it's not the sort of thing you want to put up on the internet. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you know, think about the person that you, you most, you most respect and, you know, consider it a conversation with that person because yeah. <laughs> you, that will help you stop from making us yourself up like, yeah. a, yeah, just from saying anything you wouldn't want also, to. Also only do it if you really want to, because don't just do it because you feel like it's, you know, the trendy thing to do. Mm -hmm. Um, you need, you want to do it cause you want to do it. Yeah. Um, otherwise it'll just become more like another weight another thing on your plate it's you... it is a lot of work but it can be a lot of fun and obviously like look at the community that has grown up mm -hmm. here this community is wonderful everybody here is funny supportive creative helpful uh our live streams are so enjoyable because everybody who comes and just even if they just want a little you know a little company and they put their feet up or they're taking part in the chat or they're just watching everybody is just wonderful and it, it's it's these little pockets of people that you are lucky enough to find when you do put together on a channel that make it make it fun to do and it's it's <laughs> it restores your faith in humanity <laughs> uh so jessica rabbit responded to us i told my husband it was time and i was getting a membership no matter what <laughs> lol well thank you there you are a silk member i believe so there is a two years worth of content yeah that you can go back through. on our community tab and on our website members page that you can go through yes. so you'll you'll enjoy that for yes sure. yes yes um that's great and we appreciate you. that <laughs> uh oh connie okay so connie sent us a super chat of the same question i think we've kind of addressed that I hope so. more or less yeah. it's not you it's not the it's not the kind of thing you can give up a black and white answer to no but, it's um it's um it's a very nuanced but like yeah. I, like i said the, the most the most poignant the poignant points are do what makes you happy Re remember that like talk to the camera like you're talking to the person you like the most or the person you respect the most is that and, why um, i'm behind the camera here <laughs> with my clown face uh -huh. <laughs> well it's true it's true it helps you to <laughs> it helps you and 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 Talk so there, about that, something that's that the lights trick. you up. Find, yeah. find a clown Talk about and this. put it behind the camera. <laughs> Not a put clown. Him no, no, or no, her no. behind the camera <laughs> with their like, you know. Talk about something that lights you up. It's important. It is important. And have fun. Maybe stick your pet behind the camera. Oh, yes. Yes. If you have a pet, definitely. Your little baby or whatever you got. Have them there. Kitten. Um, Andrea has joined our family. Thank Welcome you. to Alpaca. Welcome. Welcome, Andrea. Boy, our conversation is all over the, it place, is all over today. the place today. We're gonna get we gotta get some coffee. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more shout out <laughs> and then we'll be right back. Well, you'll be right back. I'm, oh, am I'm, I? Are you gonna stay? I'm gonna stay. I'm into this. You're gonna this stay now. and hang out with mm -hmm. everybody. I'm gonna all stay right, here. So, so I'm gonna be like the the gopher. You you know how to fix my. I'm coffee. gonna do the gopher. Gonna... Are you doing a giant one? I'm doing a giant one. <laughs> I couldn't wait. I was like, I have to get into this. This is gonna be so cute. This is epic. Well, working with big hooks and big yarn is funny. It feels funny. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it can it can have some kind of nifty results. So this is the exact same pattern. I'm not changing the pattern. I just changed up the hook and yarn size. So I'm going to make a big mini wreath. <laughs> um... Do you want my mug? Or are you going to... I'm going to shout out Carol, Carla here. Okay, so we have a um, we have Crystal who is running a Facebook group that is Crystal runs it. We are not on there. No. Nope. So if anyone wants to join that, it is on Facebook. Yeah. But we also have Carla. So the people that don't use Facebook and use a site called MeWe. Yes. Which we have recently learned is basically Facebook. It's just an alternative. It's Facebook. a yeah. It's a different Facebook um, kind of. A little more, like. I guess it's like it, it's I don't know simpler to use or something. It's more it's more streamlined. 
I have to admit, I don't know much about it. I took a I took a look. Carla Carla um, mentioned that some people are on MeWe, and Carla wanted to set up um, a group there, and mm -hmm. um, which we think is lovely. So, so, so <laughs> what I'm getting at is that Carla has set up a Jade and Stitches fan page on MeWe. On MeWe, which yes. Which is which is an uh, alternative to Facebook. So if anyone's on, using MeWe and you want to join. Um, you want to hang out and the, talk about the, the show there? Fan group, <laughs> fan got page, going. and share your uh, yeah. projects and your uh, ideas and photos and stuff. That is now up and running. Yes. Carla is Thank also you, Carla. a channel member. Yes, yes. So, um, yeah. Thank you. And Ronald. Ronald Jones, and I believe Catherine. Mm -hmm. Is it Kathy or Catherine? <laughs> Sent us a $50 oh super God. chat. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. You too. Wow. Um, this reads, happiness and health to you both. Oh, Ron and you. I have been absent because of doctor visits. Oh. Still in remission. Mm. Yippee. <laughs> I want to share our happiness with you. Merry Christmas. Remission Ron is... and Kathy love the sweater. That's oh, Thank you. Thank you very well, we're much. We're very happy to hear that. And Merry Christmas. So and, and, and is congratulations the right thing to say when someone is in remission and someone is still like powering through? I, I think, don't know. I, I feel like. It's not a big enough word. I feel I like know. I feel like it's like you I want a much bigger word. You, you need like a power like, ballad playing like, no, in the you background. Need words that you can't say on YouTube. Yeah, you need like, to be able to. Yes, like, you know. <laughs> family friendly show, but I want to say mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah. yeah. How about that? Is that powerful enough? Yeah, but that's good. But we need the big rock ballad <laughs> in the background. Too. We that's need wonderful. the rock ballad. Yeah, yeah. You need that like that. Well, that's great that's news, great and news. we really appreciate your support thank you very much um <laughs> oh my all right mr and stitches i have to go get you coffee. i need that coffee or things are gonna get i'm really, getting trolled again really wacky <laughs> see i made a mistake i made a troll emoji and it just keeps appearing thank you very much <laughs> i expect a tip you know i'll make you cookies later Woohoo! You all right I know this is this is uh yeah you know what our live streams have been kind of uh, loosey goosey lately which I have to admit I'm kind of enjoying we don't always have to 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 go kind of on and on about some kind of topic um, but I do like to have something to do and because I'm always working on a project of some sort even if it's sort of a personal project or I have an idea sometimes it's really fun to just sort of experiment with the idea with all of you in real time because I feel like. This is what I would be doing if I had some friends over and we were just sitting around having a cup of coffee, you know, just chatting and, and working on whatever project we might have. That's the time that I would sit and and workshop a new idea. And I love this little wreath from last year. I think about it a lot because it was so, so quick and simple. And I love I love simplicity in crochet design. I love the idea of, of something that looks looks like what you want it to look like, but doesn't require, you know, there's a time and a place for super fancy stitches and lots of intricate work. And I mean, I love that stuff. It's gorgeous. And, you know, and that's the kind of project you want to sort of sit and work on all year round. <clears throat> Excuse me. But when you want to make yourself or a whole bunch of little things. You want to take the time to make a gift, to make make a handful of gifts. You, you just, it takes time. And we, we are always short on time. So being able to make something that looks like, in this case, a little wreath. Ooh, my coffee's here. I have to navigate all of these. All these wires. All these wires oh, and, this, and this could chairs. Be in a second here. Oh, 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 oh. Hold I on. don't want to brag, but this will be the best coffee that... you've ever had in your life. <laughs> What if it is? What if it is? And then it's all downhill from here. Then I've made a mistake. <laughs> you're going to force me to make you coffee all the time. This looks great. If you'll excuse me, <laughs> I have to have a sip of this. This is coffee number two this morning. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's, uh -huh. very good. that's, that's very 10 good. out of 10? <laughs> it's 10 out of 10. Oh, it's, I love it. It's, uh, it's all the pour. It's all in the pour. You have to tilt, you have to tilt it to the corrupt just it's, a little bit while you're pouring. I, I have uh my, my changes the flavor. My, my very own barista here. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so I love the simplicity of this wreath. 
And it's one of those little designs, one of those simple little things that I keep thinking about over and over again. And I'm going to mention it again. We've got a free pattern over on our website. And uh, it's on the pattern workshop page. It's the exact same little design as this guy. You don't have to include the snow. The pattern does include the snow if you wanted to add it, but I've been making it um, today without the snow. Um, you can decorate them. You can sew or glue on little beads, little buttons, little pom-poms, anything that kind of, you know, makes it look like a little miniature wreath. And, and the more you add to it, the more wreath-like it'll look. I feel like putting a little bow on the bottom, a ribbon, a bow, something like that, really sells the idea that it's a little wreath. And the nice thing about this is that it looks cute no matter what side you're looking at. Just like a real wreath, you know, you've got the nice plain back and you've got all the decorated front the way it would hang against a door. Um, if you know someone who has dollhouses, why not make them a little wreath for the front door of the dollhouse? This is such a cute little simple ornament that you can make them out of novelty yarns, whatever green yarn you might have lying around. It is such a flexible pattern. And now here I am making one using this big, super thick yarn. And I'm just going to put in my last. I didn't change the pattern at all. I made it exactly as written. I just used a really big hook and some really thick yarn. And I like the big one. I like the big one. I'm going to make several of that these. That looks really good. Because wouldn't this look you could, cute you could, hanging in the window, all yes. decorated like at different angles? You can angles? even put little solar lights on it. <gasps> yeah! Oh, so my you gosh. Can attach the solar thing to the window, and they would, you know how they turn on automatically? Yes. You don't have to plug them in. And you could light that up, at, and it would turn on. See? Inspiration. Fill, you know what would look amazing? Filling the window with them. So not just one or two, you like could, filling the window you could with hang like, have like 10 or 20 of them you could hang all them, lit up. Or you could get those little suction cup hooks and boop, 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 have them all up and down the window yeah, and just yeah, hang yeah, little yeah, ones. Yeah, 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 With the lights. Yeah, with the lights. Oh, my gosh. I uh -huh, love that idea. Uh -huh. See? Not only I'm not just do you good pour at a good pouring cup of coffee, coffee, but I also come up with ideas. You do. You come up with some real bangers. Yeah, that is a good cup. That's a say. good cup of cup. All right, so I'm going to weave this tail in. Um, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to measure this. I want to see just how big this, this thing is. A big shout out to Bethany, who has joined our Silk Level membership. Thank, Thank you, you, Bethany. Bethany. <laughs> Welcome. All right. Tuck this in here. Perfect. All right. So there's, so that's a bigger one. I like that color. I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> now I need a big bow for it. So in this case, a little bit of string bow won't work. So now this needs like a bigger bow. So I'm going to actually crochet a bow. I'm going to use this pink yarn that I have. Isn't this the best pink? This is such such a powerful pink. Did I welcome Andrea, who joined our alpaca family membership? Does that sound familiar? I am unsure, which is bad. So thank you, Andrea. Well, I, I'm going back to make sure I don't welcome. miss anything. So if we didn't, thank you, Andrea, thank you. who thank has joined much. our alpaca level. And we got Bethany. I'm getting bombarded with uh, trolls in the chat. <laughs> okay, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I am just crocheting. I'm going to crochet an actual bow. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to crochet ribbon <clears throat> to turn into a bow. At least that's what I think I'm going to do. If it's thick enough, might have to make it bigger. Um. Or will I make it an old fashioned? You know what? No, I'm going to do another. I'm going to do a regular bow the other way. I'm going to start a new poll. Sure. I would like to know of those. Um... <clears throat> okay, before, before I forget, I'm going to make a bow like a hair bow. We have several tutorials, two at least, 
uh, on how to make a, a big poofy bow. And I'm thinking in particular of the, um, the bow we made for the Snow White costume. You could make that bow in red, perfect, and have it hanging at the bottom. Like you could sort of attach it to the bottom of the wreath. So I'm gonna make a bow like that. Um, so just if you're wondering what I'm doing, that's what I'm up to. I'm gonna, that's wide enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I've chained 17. I'm using a medium size four weight yarn and I'm using a smaller hook. It's a four millimeter or a G or a six. Um, I'm gonna double crochet in every stitch across. So I'll have little rows of 16 stitches using <laughs> half double crochet. And then I will decide if I'm gonna double it or just like double the fabric in half or just use it flat. So this is this is designing as you go. So I'm crocheting a bow. I will then crochet little ribbon ties for it because obviously using the thicker yarn, I can't just use tied <laughs> yarn. I'm gonna have to use something a bit bigger because you need it to be to scale. But I love Mr. and Stitch's idea of hanging a whole bunch of these in the in the, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these and hang them. What a cute little idea. Cinnamon is asking so for simple. more Minecraft patterns. Cinnamon. Um uh wow we've got we haven't done a minecraft, done thing a minecraft in many, in a many, many 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 let's years. see let me let me get through them here we've got the creeper and the enderman we've got the grass block or the dirt block we have patterns at the shop for steve for the tnt block for the for the halloween block um we've got the torch We've got tutorials for a creeper inspired ear cover. We have a free pattern for a creeper inspired Christmas stocking over on our webpage on the, the workshop page. That's a free pattern. In fact, there's there are four free stocking to stocking patterns. They don't have tutorials, but there are patterns. So uh, if you're reading and of course they they kind of work like some of the other tutorials we've done. So if you've just done like if you've done the um, the adult sock booty or the baby sock booty tutorials that we've got, these stockings are kind of a larger version of that. So building the actual stocking um, is the same concept. So if you have a little bit of trouble reading patterns, um, those are those tutorials that could back you up there, but it's a pretty straightforward pattern. But we've got a Mickey Mouse ears Christmas stocking, a creeper Christmas stocking, um, a Hello Kitty Christmas stocking. <laughs> and what was the other one? We did a fourth one. What are we talking about? I'm trying to read through the chat here. The character Christmas stocking patterns that we have over uh, on the website. One was like a, a Disney inspired or something. Yeah, that was Mickey, Mickey. Mouse inspired, uh, a creeper. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. And there's a fourth one. Yeah, I can't. Oh, oh the, it the was, Minion. Uh, it's the Minion. Is it the Minion yeah. or was it the, um, the um, American? Um, the no, it's the Marvel minion. dude there. No, it's the minion. It's the minion. The minion. Yeah. 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 So we've got <clears throat> four character yeah, stocking those are, patterns. Those are free. Those are all free. They're free over on the website. Um, and uh, I'm not sure what kind of, if we were going to do another Minecraft, I love the Minecraft yeah, stuff. We, I'm not sure what we, we would kind do. Of, we, we, we love Minecraft, but we stopped playing, I guess, because there's just so many things to play out there. I've been playing. Uh, we used to play it a lot, Rising. but that was like. 10 years ago. Yeah, I really, I still really love it. It's a great it's game. It's a fantastic game. Um, but I don't know. I mean, probably, I'm going to say most likely at some point we'll do another one. But probably, I don't know if we'll be doing it anytime soon. But make sure you've checked out everything we've already done. So go to the website and then go to the YouTube channel. Yes. And, uh, um, the, yeah, YouTube. Or the Etsy shop, I think, has some the Etsy shop, written ones. We've got, yeah, we've got, the, we've got some written ones over there. Yeah. Um, I feel like we've hey, done Cameron found it. Charm bag crochet tutorial. Thank you, Simple Cameron. pattern for beginners. Yes. It was published in 2014. Oh my gosh. Wow. When, back when we were bright eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> back when we were we were brighter. Is this too wide? This might be. No, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I'm I'm just. Um, I'm going to make this somewhat wider, I think. The thing about crocheting a bow, it's really easy. You just crochet yourself a, a rectangle that's almost square. 
So it's almost, almost, it's a, it's like maybe the ratio is like two to one. So for however many long it is, it's like half that as wide. <clears throat> um, just, just because you, you, you want bows to be kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> that just seems to be a good ratio. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. I'm thinking I might do a row of single crochet all the way around the edge of this. This is designing on the fly here, guys. This is a bow for my, how's that is it gonna be? Yes, okay, so just to recap, four millimeter hook or a G6, regular size four medium weight yarn. I chained 17, half double crocheted into the second chain from the hook, so I'm only using a single turning chain. Half double crocheted all the way across, so there's 16 stitches in each row. And I've done one, two, three, four, five rows, chain one turn, half double crochet every row. Now I'm just gonna single crochet all the way around the entire perimeter of the rectangle. So all the way across the top, I'll probably do two single crochet in the four corners just to kind of turn the corner. Single crochet down the edge. Uh, when you're single crocheting down a piece of fabric that was built using half double crochet, I try to do for every two rows of half double crochet, I'll maybe work three single crochet across the edge of it, but it's not really important when you're doing something like this. So just evenly space your little single crochets down the edge. Mm -hmm. So I put up a new poll. I would <laughs> like to know who out there is working on our new advent calendar series yes. that we just launched. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, I know some people it's a bit too, too, it's too late to kick out that much work, but uh, some people, some people can do it. Yep. So I'm curious, um, take part in the poll. Let us know if you're working on the uh, mini stocking advent calendar or, project. It's a two part series. It is, so yes. those of you that um, aren't, weren't aware, just know that it's, there's two videos to that series. We've got them both linked to each other. Yeah. So if you find one, you'll be able to find the other. And that came out. Last, last week, week. yeah last so week. let us know in the chat if you're if you're doing the project if you're not going to do the project or maybe another time if uh the the the, the uh, border for the mighty mile a minute calendar blanket will be coming um relatively soon we've just got to do some finishing touches on it um, but the uh, december strip is uh, out uh, 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 uh. so i'm going to post the channel home page so those of you that are curious it'll be it should be right up top in the in the recent uploads. All right, just quickly, guys. Pretty plain, pretty plain, Jane. So that's five rows of half double crochet, sixteen stitches per row, only one chain to turn. And then I turned and I single crocheted all the way back. Two single crochet in each of the four corners, just grabbing a loop where there isn't a stitch. Single crochet down um, both sides, across the bottom. Join with a slip stitch the first single crochet. So a real basic single crochet border. Stitch count doesn't matter. All I'm doing is sort of evening out the sides and giving it a little bit of strength. Now I'm going to fasten off. I'm not gonna bother with too much tail because... It looks like, um, it looks like Google has still not fixed the issue with our, the community tab oh, really? not showing on certain on devices. On Apple devices and yeah, stuff? Yeah, so that's really frustrating because it's been over two, almost three years. I don't think it's an issue with. Um, it's not with computers. It's not computer issue. It's a it's a people issue. They're I think they don't. They're they, they're kind of like having these little spats. Like I'll let you do this here, but I won't let you do that there. More to the point, it's though, like competition. It's stuff. just an Apple phone or an Apple tablet. Yeah. If you've got an Apple computer, like a Mac, it'll it'll work fine on the yeah. computer. Yeah. So what we recommend, if you're a member, um, and and you can't see the community tab on your phone or your Apple device, try a different device. Try um, try your computer, your laptop, or use, use like Google Chrome or like use a different internet browser to go to the website. Don't use the app. Mm -hmm. So go to the website, go to YouTube's website on your device, then go to our channel, then go to the community tab. And I have a feeling it'll work that way. Yes. I don't want our members missing out on content, sweetie. No. 
No, it's good that we we mention that every so often because well, it they is... were talking about it in the chat, and I I was like, I thought they I thought that issue was fixed, but obviously it's not. We so it's good don't to... have Apple devices, so we're not really tuned in to whether things are working on yeah, that software or that's, not. That's why we don't have Apple devices. Yeah, that's because why. I bought an Apple device 20 years ago and I found out that they block everything. They yeah. block you from doing everything. Yeah. So I was like, well, never again. <laughs> I had a, I still have it actually. It's those 90s. Um, really it, pretty it, Mac. It's a really pretty Mac. It's, <clears> it's got that, that color you know yeah. that turquoise color i mean i liked the computer the computer was excellent but you couldn't do anything you like everything was blocked and locked and you can't install this and you need this version of that and i'm like okay that's enough <laughs> <laughs> so we use android and goo and um we use samsung and android yes and uh they're a bit better at um letting, th going. letting things work Anyway, that's just my personal opinion. All right. Um, <clears throat> just quickly, I chained 25 and half double crocheted in each chain all the way back. I think if I kind of bend this in half, this will be enough of a ribbon, you know, when you've got like a ribbon hanging below a, a bow, but we'll see. We're going to see how it looks. I will snip that, weave in mm. those tails. Franco would like to know if Jada's gonna make a mile a minute temperature blanket. A mile a minute temperature blanket. Um, I don't think I'll be making a mile a minute blanket, uh, and certainly not next year. We did a temperature blanket using granny squares, which was really fun. Um, I think that would be interesting. I'm not sure how you would do that, mile a minute temperature blanket, um, because, the way we did it, the temperature blanket the first time was I literally took the temperature every day. So that was easy to make like a little simple granny square that was that kind of correlated to the, the temperature chart. I think if I was going to do a temperature blanket using the mile a minute thing, I would have to do. I'd have to maybe take an average of the temperature per month if I was going to do 12 strips or maybe the average of the temperature per week mm. if I was going to do 52 strips. I don't know. That would that would take a little bit of of, uh, of thinking. Some channel members here are well, reporting. That's kind of the idea. <clears throat> some channel members are reporting that the community tab does display on their Apple phone. Okay. So could I, it be the 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 age of the phone or the mm -hmm. the update or the software? But update? it doesn't on. So the same person, Teddy, says it works on my phone, Apple phone, but it doesn't work on my Apple iPad. So that is bizarre, but thank you for sh sharing. Yeah, that. <clears throat> thank you. That we, like we said, we don't have the the, uh, the gear, <laughs> so we don't know. <clears throat> okay, that's gonna be my little ribbon. It's just half double crochet in each chain all the way across. I did twenty five chains because I thought that ah, that's long enough. And all I'm gonna do is just sort of like, kind of bend it in the middle. I'm gonna take my rectangle, I'm gonna pinch it right in the middle and then mm -hmm. fold the top and the bottom down like this. And I'm just gonna wrap yarn around the middle of it. Um, so pinch, fold, fold. And nothing fancy here. All right, I'm gonna shut the pole down nice in a minute tight. or so. So um, make your selection if you haven't yet. I am having trouble finding the pattern of the wreath on the website keywords. Okay, so you need to go to our website, jadainstitches.com, go to the workshop page, and scroll down through that page. I don't know exactly where it is on the page. <clears throat> so I do, because I just went there this morning. <laughs> Um, if you you can either use the direct link to jadenstitches.com slash workshop.php or just go to jadenstitches.com and click on the pattern workshop. If you're on a tablet or a phone, when you land on our website homepage, there's like like three little cute lines that are quite at the top that are like in a yellow bar. They're pink lines and a yellow bar. That's actually the menu for the entire website, and you'll find the pattern workshop page on there. Tap on that. And then you might find that it wants to load in pieces. It depends on how busy the site is that day. Just scroll and scroll and scroll. Halfway down that page is a little description of all the different patterns that we've got there. There are more patterns beneath it. So keep scrolling. And mm -hmm. the Christmas Aretha applique pattern is down below. You'll see 
this little picture, so it's actually the picture of the reef sitting on top of the, the actual house, you'll find that photograph, like a thumbnail, and then underneath it, you'll see the file, Christmas Reef Applique Pattern. It's a PDF file. Tap on that, it'll download to your phone or your tablet. If you're using a computer, you can you can tap on it and it should open. Sometimes the computer will open it in a separate email, a separate web page. You just like click to the different tab. Um, or if you're on a tablet or a phone, I think it just auto downloads it. When you download a file off the internet, it'll typically go straight to your downloads folder. Most devices have a folder called downloads. You'll find it there. Or you can open up um, if you're on a um, a phone or tablet, you can also open up my files. It'll be there. You can open up your e-reader. It'll be the most recent um, thing in the e-reader. So there's a few different ways to access it. Uh, but then you can print it if you want. Um, if you're setting up your, if you've got a printer that works on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, then sometimes you have to like, you can print from your phone or your tablet. You just have to make sure that your phone or your tablet has the, uh, what do they call that? The, not the engine, it's the, what are we talking about? <laughs> you're not paying attention, are you? Anyway, you can print. You can print it if, you're, if you've if you set up your phone or your tablet to print via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to your printer. Make sure your printer's on and you can print that way. You can print it off uh, using your computer or laptop, obviously. Um, but that's what it's called. Little crochet, crochet wreath applique pattern. And it's after Shelley the little says discussion. She's looked through our page and she can't find it. I'm pretty sure it's there. Yep, I got it this morning. The pattern. And you're just page. skimming over it. Mm -hmm. Um Look, pattern workshop look more page. Carefully. It's, a, it's the pattern workshop page. <laughs> halfway, halfway through. Halfway down the page is a description of all the different little patterns we've got, and it's below that. So yeah. you'll see a little thumbnail that says more patterns below. Keep scrolling. Ah, and it's, down there. it's way. So and it's look down. for, look for this picture. Yeah, that's that might be why that's you're, the picture. you're passing it. It's the little, it's the little wreath sitting on top of the, uh, of the the little house. Yeah. So that's the picture you're looking for. Um. Okay. I tied some string around the middle of my little rectangle. So now I have a bow pattern going. I still got my string here. I'm going to just tie, I bent my little, my little ribbon tail in half and I'm gonna just knot it to the bottom. So I'm just gonna sort of stitch it through a couple of stitches, nothing fancy, just so it hangs. Maybe I'll do a couple. I really like the big one. I love the big yeah. one. And I love your idea of like little that solar with lights. Little solar lights in it. It would look super cute. It would. It would it would look so cute. It would look it oh, yes. All hanging at different levels. Very welcoming. So I'm just gonna sew that. Shelly, did you find it? You can do it. <laughs> it's there. <clears throat> All right. I um I I put a direct link to that page specifically to help everyone out. It's in the chat, and then scroll down, like Jada said, about halfway, maybe a little past. It's below halfway. halfway. Yeah. If you're using a phone or a, a tablet, you're gonna have to scroll for quite a while because it. Um, this is gonna be so cute. Okay. It narrows the page, I believe. I'm using the same string. I'm just gonna sew it to. <laughs> Maria says, I just found it. It was way at the bottom. <laughs> Jada, you're not giving proper instructions. I said it here. was below the halfway point. <laughs> well, you know what it technically is? that's accurate. I knew it was below the halfway point, And then when I found the thing, I just stopped. So I don't know what's below so it. So it's probably the last one. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. What yarn are you using for that bow? Oh, this it's is. It's like a hot. I know. Very, it's just, uh, very isn't hot it gorgeous? Pink. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is. It looks like it's lit up practically. This is. I think this is Uptown Yarns, <laughs> and it's called. I think it's. Is it just fusion? All right, everyone's starting to find it. So. Oh, good. Um, I think it's. I think it's called Uptown. I don't have the the. Um, the label. The label anymore. Um, it's definitely a fuchsia. But it. Oh. It is just that is yeah probably my hold favorite closer. color. Is it acrylic? It's acrylic. It is super soft. I think it's called Uptown Yarns. Um, I will look it up. We used. We it. don't know if it's new or old. Oh no, it's old. It's old from my stuff. stash. I know exactly what yarn this is. We used this um, for a handful of projects on the site, and the one I'm thinking of, I'll have to look it up. 
I'll look it up and I will post that information in the community tab later after the live stream. I just want to make sure I've got the right information, but I'm pretty sure it's Uptown Yarns and I'm pretty sure it was called Fuchsia. And it is just the most fantastic hot pink color and it is super soft acrylic yarn. It's one of the mm -hmm. nicest yarns I ever used. Um, color fiber texture. It really does look like switched it on. It looks switched on. Yeah. It does. I'm just about to sew this to the bottom of my little wreath here. This turned into a really cute crochet. I really project. like the way this one's turning yeah. out. Yeah. It looks really good. I like that thick green yarn. Too. Yeah, the bulky yarn really works well with the big, big hook. Biggest hook you've got. This is like a 16 millimeter. I think that's called a P. P or an N, it's like the super big ones. And once you get up to like 15 millimeters, 16 millimeters, 17 millimeters, they're all kind of like, they all kind of end up making stitches that are roughly the same. We have a super chat from Angela. Thank you, Angela. $5 super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Angela says, what is your favorite statement living room blanket? Statement Since living room. retiring, room. I've been crocheting like mad. Baby blankets, shawls, and mini stockings. Okay, living room, I'm gonna go, so in my opinion, being of British descent, the living room is kind of like the new age parlor. And for me, this is this is where you would, you know, this is the nice room of the house. This is where you entertain your guests and you like shoo the kids <laughs> out of the room if they've got little sticky fingers. So I'm, I'm going back to my grandma here. Um, the living room is probably where you're gonna display some of your nicer things. So in terms of a throw blanket or display blanket for the living room, I love the lacy stitches. So this is a blanket that isn't about being warm or cuddly. It's not the family room blanket. It's not the den blanket or the bedroom blanket or the blankets where you like cuddle up for like, you know, movie night. This is the, the pretty statement blanket, the one you drape over the, the armchair or something. I love any kind of simple repeating lacy stitch in white, cream, champagne, okra, beige, any of the super neutrals. If you're going for like dramatic punch, black, if you can crochet it in black. So that's my, my, my ideal living room blanket, white or black and a gorgeous, simple repeating lacy stitch. I love the primrose stitch. Um, I love the, any of the stitches, any of the lacy stitches we made for our, um, uh, Victorian stitch sampler, in particular, a lady's fan, gorgeous stitch. Um, our autumn, our autumn um, moon, our autumn moon wrap tutorial. It's a wrap, so it's you know we made it to be more like a shawl or a wrap, but you could just keep going and make it longer, and it's the perfect size and width for a throw. And that uses a feather and fan stitch, another gorgeous stitch, absolutely glorious. Um, those would be my top three stitch patterns for a throw blanket for the living room in either white or black cream or champagne. Yeah. That, that. <laughs> oh, and size wise, I like, I like it to be literally as wide as my arms. So if you're just chaining a foundation row and you need a specific stitch count, like say you need a multiple of three, just start chaining. Sets of three, sets of three, sets of three, or if it's sets of 12 or 14, whatever it is, start to go one, two, three, one, two, three, mm -hmm. one, two, three. And then like, just keep doing this. Mm -hmm. And once you can hold it between, you know, with your thumb, your fingers against the palm of your thumb, once you can do this with it, it's wide enough. Count them up. That's the number of stitches in your foundation row. Make sure it's it fits with the multiple that you need. Mm -hmm. Then start the pattern and then just keep going until it's as long as you want. I like a good it to be if I'm standing upright I can I can it'll touch the floor if I'm holding it at my nose and I'm five five and a quarter so maybe about five feet tall um that's it that's my perfect throw size yeah I'd like to shout out one of our channel <laughs> members question. Sylvia oh, hi Sylvia Sylvia says hello everyone's greetings from Romania wow it is almost 8 p.m here and oh. it is the first time I managed to catch one of your live sessions More so enjoyable. Romania, wow. wow, Romania. What's the time difference? It's well, 8 p.m. right PM, now. So and we are at so seven hours. Seven, seven hours. Seven hours ahead in Romania. Oh, Romania. Wow, cool. Romantic Romania. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thanks for uh thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Thanks for being a member. Yeah, thank, I'm glad you were able to catch us. Um, do you want to hear the poll? Yes. 
Are you going to make the mini stocking advent calendar project? This year or next year? Maybe next year. 52%. Yes, 30%. <laughs> And no, 16%. I love that little calendar. It turned out so good. It turned out so well. I'm still I'm still finishing my stockings. Like, I'm not, you know, under no pretense do you think you, it has to be done, done, done. So, most importantly, stockings 1 through 18 are there. So, of course, I've been able to start snacking on my, my, <laughs> my calendar treats. Um, but I'm still working on them. So, But this is the kind of thing I'm going to be pulling out every year. Every year. I will pull out my little stocking thing. I have another stocking advent calendar that I made by hand sewing little little fabric scrap stockings and giving them cute little edging. I think I actually gave them crocheted edging, some of them. I made that one before I met the mister. Um, and if I ever, what? if I you ever had a it, life before you met me, <laughs> yeah, shocking, that's impossible. Right? Um, if I manage to find it and pull it out, I will I will share it with you guys. Come that's, on. A, that's a cute little stocking thing. I'm almost done sewing my little bow to the front of my wreath. Jada, this is a question from one of our channel members, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Have you considered writing a Mandela pattern? A Mandela pattern? Like, in terms of it being round? Yes. Actually, <laughs> technically, yes. anything that's a pretty, it's a pretty repeated, like, or pretty repeated, anything that's circular, that's an interesting of interesting pattern is a mandala. Uh, mandala is the idea is that you kind of you're 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 working you're you're zenning out in a circle basically. So we do have technically have we, some mandala. We have to patterns. get around to sh sharing that project, but because that's kind of a, yeah. that one's going to require some um, extra effort. We okay. Let me let me let me. Back <laughs> up. Yes, we do already have some small mini mandala style patterns. Um, we have a a um, a, van, a mandala vest pattern for 18 inch dolls over in our Etsy shop. And mm -hmm. I made myself really good. a Mandela circle pattern. Um, the thing with the pattern though, is that uh, I haven't shared that as a tutorial yet because the thing with Mandela's, uh, this might be a kind of a different style of tutorial if we do that, is that you are constantly seeking a different stitch, a different count, in order to make each row tidy and lie flat. Working circularly is not as easy as working in a square or working back and forth. And I would love to be able to teach everyone how to make their own pretty Mandela vest, but because we're all different sizes, um, it will require you to know how to create a really pretty circle up until the point where you need to put your armholes in. Um, so I'm still working out how to explain that. Greetings from Belgium. Belgium, oh my gosh. Greetings from India. Vima's here. Hey, Hello, Vima. Vima. That's really late for Vima. Tyler is from Belgium. Cool. Tyler is from Belgium. Oh my gosh. Nope. Sorry, Cynthia. Cynthia's, Cynthia's from Belgium. From Belgium. <laughs> Tyler had a question for you. Okay. Um, do you think the pattern for the festive table runner would make a nice lacy blanket if I increased the stitch multiple to white? To wide enough. Absolutely. And you can use the border. So all you have to do is just change the foundation chain row to be the width you need based on the um, the multiplier, which is in the description box of that particular pattern. It's also included, obviously, in the pattern in our Etsy shop. To make it wider, you change the foundation chain, and then the pattern itself is the same, and you just go and go and go and go and go until it's the length you want. Gorgeous stitch. That's sort of a, that's kind of an open fan stitch or kind of a seashell stitch almost. And then that border that we created for that particular runner will also work around the border, no matter how wide you make it, that would finish off a blanket beautifully. I made a version of the um, festive table runner as a wrap, a little shoulder wrap one year too. So that's a mm -hmm. very, uh, very flexible pattern. Shout out to Lady Ravenous, Lady Ravenous, who is from Perth, Australia. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's tomorrow in, in Perth. It's tomorrow. Hey, what are your lotto numbers? <laughs> it's also about... We've worked... It's really early in the morning. They I know. Are, I they always are, mess it up. It's either 12 plus 2 hours... 
or there it's either 20 it's either 14 or 26 hours 14 ahead of or us. 26 i can't remember so i guess we really haven't worked it we out. have not worked it out is what i'm getting at <laughs> All right. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just I'm just creatively tying. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sewing my bow to the front of my my little wreath. I'm going to show this to you in a second properly. Obviously, I just want to make sure that it looks the way I want it to. I'm using up every last little bit of this. This. Um, yarn. Remember to click the like button if you're having fun and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Yeah, yeah. That way you get our, um, our, our uploads should. They'll always. They should notify you when we upload. Even if they your notifications don't you work. Still, the, the videos still randomly pop up in your feed. It will also go up in chronological order in your subscription feed. Yes. Which is different than the home feed, which is what you default to when you first turn on YouTube. Yeah. So okay. You have to get into the habit of going to YouTube and going straight to your subscription feed. That's what I do. I love it. You love Hold it? On. Applause! Oh my gosh! Okay. Now picture some little I'm white lights, uh, just just two, like three or four little white lights uh, around the top of it. Yes. And now picture like twenty of them. And now them I'm picturing like window. even just like three or five, three, five. hanging yeah, in yeah, each yeah. window, yeah, like yeah. at different levels. Yeah, three, five, seven. This pattern. Very so I didn't change the pattern at all. I just used the super big hook and the super bulky weight yarn, and um, <laughs> this bow. We'll, uh, we'll put the bow notes in the uh, description box of this live stream once it's done. So I'll just so you all kind of know what I did. I'll put the bow notes in that and I will quickly write them down just so I know what I did. Super cute. So, Shelly says there should be a love button. A love button. Yeah. I know. I feel that way too. There should be a like and a love. I watch the odd tutorial and I go or the odd like video. Like isn't enough. And I go, <laughs> that was great. And I like it. Yeah. And then I and then I'll watch the odd one and I'll be like, that was so wonderful. Well, if you're a member, you can use our custom emojis and flood flood the chat with our little heart. heart. I chained 17 half double crochet across. And then the ribbon is Making notes, making notes, making notes, making notes. This is this is this is me making notes. I don't even know if you can see that. That's me making notes in the little the little bow I just made. I will make them make much more sense in the description box, I promise. Um and then yeah, and then I just so so I made a very simple bow. This bow um and something Hey Google upgraded their upgraded their yarn ball. Did they? Yeah, they made a better one. Well, wasn't it giving us trouble sometimes? It was. It kept getting flagged, which yeah. is so bizarre. It's your emoji and it's No, like... no, not ours. No, no, I know their, it was Google's their, emoji. Their emoji of and yarn. They were flagging their own emoji. Getting, they, they were flagging their own emoji, but now I realize they've got a newer one and it's much better looking. It's still a pink ball of yarn, but it's kind of a little more detailed and um it might still be getting flagged, which is so bizarre. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just going to create a little hanger. So uh, embroider a crochet thread, not embroidery thread, crochet thread, if you've got a lot of it because people give it to you because they thought they would do a crochet thread project and they gave up. <laughs> if you find yourself with a lot of crochet thread, this stuff is great for a lot of different things because it's <laughs> it's um, mercerized <laughs> cotton. Darren doesn't know how to use Jaden stitches emojis. Okay, what you do is you look at the bottom of your chat screen and you're gonna look for a happy face. It looks like a smiling face. You click on it, and at the top, there's our custom emojis for members. No, that's not the right place. And then there's all, like if you scroll down, you'll see all of like the Google emojis. There's tons and tons of them, but the ones across the top, it says Jaden Stitches, those are the, the membership emojis. Those are the ones that, yeah. And that's how you reach them. Done. Yeah, see, the the new yarn ball is getting flagged again. It's getting flagged. But it's a completely different design. That it's is really so weird. bizarre. It must have something to do with the file. 
Google, if you're listening, YouTube uh, people. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fix your you're poor gonna little have boat, to, your, your you, little emoji. Yeah. Swap out that file, whatever the file is that's grabbing that image, because it's it's flagging it, which so, is so bizarre. So there's... Is there anything more harmless than a ball of yarn? I know. What could be literally more harmless than a ball of yarn? <laughs> a digital one at that. <laughs> exact same pattern. Two completely different sized wreaths. And I love this. <laughs> that is that is going to make some amazing window decor. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm going to make one for Mama, too. It's I love, so cute. So this little one, perfect size for the tree, for stockings, for applique use, i.e. ugly sweaters. A nice little gift for your coworkers or your friends. This one, a little, a little, um, took about the same amount of time to make the wreath. Uh, make a fancier bow or use big ribbon. If you got that big bow ribbon stuff, put a big ribbon on it. Um, and hang it up in the window. You can, I mean, this is also a nice gift. If you, if I've got like, if this is that weird size seven novelty yarn, it's super bulky. You might ask yourself, I don't know what else I'm going to do with it. Um, it's like a wool blend. So it's not really nice to wear because it's a little bit itchy. Pardon me. I'm hiccuping. I should probably have some more coffee. Okay. But oh uh, my gosh, I love how this turned out. the post that I've been using <laughs> password for the silk website um one or two of our new members are having trouble finding the username and password to get into the website we'll repost that so what we'll do is when, when we're done when we're done the live stream we'll mm -hmm. repost that information and it'll be the the latest post so it'll yeah. be very easy for you we'll, we'll post a bunch of stuff actually guys yeah, um, we have we have actually we have to post we have so for everybody, for everybody, we'll post the, there'll be information. The pattern to the bow. Yeah, there'll be information in the description box after this is done. I'll make a quick little post for everybody in the community tab. That's everybody. So you can find this again if you are looking for the actual live stream later. We'll make sure there's a post there so you can find that and, and go. Um, so we'll put a little quick link in for you. Um, we'll repost the uh, website information for the Silk and Pecunia members in the community tab. And there was something else. I'll remember it. Yeah, but, um, I forget now. There were three or four things. Oh, we were going to link up the the border. We were going to put the border tutorials links in the pinned comment. Oh, yes. And we'll, we'll put the border tutorials in the pinned comment yeah. on the MMMA for December, which came out on Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> and the border, you haven't missed the border yet. If you're just tuning in a little late, the uh, mile a minute counter blanket border is coming. We haven't done it yet. Um, I should say the tutorial isn't out yet, but it is coming. You can use any granny square border you want if you're in a hurry, um, or you can wait for the other one. It won't be very long. We're going to have that up as soon as we can. Um, and it won't be difficult. It won't be super time intensive. Uh, and the idea usually behind our borders for our counter blanket projects is to kind of pull colors from the blanket itself. Um, so you can use whatever colors you want. If you want to do something completely different, it's up to you. Um, but the idea is never to, you know, make you have to go get warm yarn or something like that. So we try to make them uh, sort of like a, a wrap up for the project. So you're kind of using up whatever yarn you still had so that you don't have to, um, you know, worry about going and getting more, or it's a nice way to pull other colors out of the project into the border. So that's the whole point. Mike, I'm sorry. I'm just so distracted by this. I'm, I love these little, I love these little lives where I, 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 I have kind of an inkling, but I'm not really sure. And then we sit here and we work it out with everybody. I just, I, I absolutely adore this. That looks amazing. This is the cutest little wreath I think of. And if you don't want to do the lights, so like we're probably going to end up doing, you can, you can just it. do the beads. Yeah, and do little, little yeah, beads, do buttons. a little bit of beading, a little bit of buttons. Grab that button container. Or just use flecks of yarn, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. that would look good too. Pom-poms. On something oh, this size, those little tiny, um, if you've got a little tiny, if you've got um, spruce trees in the backyard, you have those little tiny spruce pine cones or spruce cones. Um, some of those glued to it would be super cute. Um, oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's the combination of this green and that pink that I think I like the most. I'm really, I'm really in love with this, uh, this green pink combination. <laughs> <clears throat> Our new members are really enjoying the, uh, spamming the emojis. <laughs> and we do update those from time to time. We do, we do. We switch them around. We try to keep them kind of, uh, we, 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 seasonal. we try to keep them seasonal. We try. We try to keep up with sort of jokes that are going on. Um, and uh, every once in a while, the Vicunias help us 
design. Design new Choose ones. designs. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I'm, I'm in love. I'm going to make as many of these as I possibly can, I think, today. That is my Friday afternoon project. I'm going to make some more of these. How? I oh, I was going to measure it. I'm sorry, guys. I got so carried away. I forgot. Give me a measuring tape. All right. Yep. From one side to the other, it is 16 centimeters or a little over six inches, just a little over six inches. So what a lovely size for the window. Perfect. Um, it's a five inch wide bow, which is also about 12 centimeters. Um, so six inches, basically, from like far side to far side and a little hole in the middle. <laughs> That's it. That's a six inch. So from this to this. <laughs> so Bravo. 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 All right. And I love this. This is cute. A little tiny. Like I said, if you don't want to if you don't want to crochet a bow, you can just put a ribbon one on the bottom if you want and uh add lights like Mr. and Stitches suggested or just some buttons or some pom-poms or some beads. De decorative something. Little wooden beads, little yeah, pine it, cones. It's not necessary. I no. like it as is. I but, think but, I'm gonna leave this you one could. clean. Yeah. I like that with just the bowl on it. Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right, my darlings, I think. I mean, now we just need a little chipmunk like in the center Aww. of it like, looking out. That yes, would be we do. cute. If a I, live chipmunk. If I put one outside, the squirrel will wake up. <laughs> He'll be like, perfect. I'm gonna decorate my nest with that. Um, <laughs> Okay. We will make sure that the pertinent information is in the description box and the pinned comment of this live stream. Once it's done, give us a little time. We will put posts in the community tab. So look out for those this afternoon. There'll be posts coming for everybody. The free pattern for today's little uh, wreath is available right now on our webpage on the workshop pa pattern workshop page of the website. And you can make them this size. You can make them. This size, if you use a super bulky weight yarn and a really big hook, um, hook size, yarn size, yarn fiber, none of it matters. This pattern goes for anything. I recommend you try it. Get into your stash bin. Look for your weird novelty yarns. Try one with a novelty yarn. Have fun with it. Um, if you want to make them super small and turn a few into earrings, try your crochet thread. And I pulled out a two millimeter hook. Um, so somewhere around there is nice for the crochet thread. So if you wanna try something super small, same pattern, pattern doesn't change. You just need to change the hook and the yarn size. So I hope you have a little fun with that. If you, I, I know I was talking to um, a couple people at the shop in the last few days about staying motivated, motivated mm. to get bigger projects done. I know that's a big issue for a lot mm -hmm. of people. And I will say that taking the odd little break away from a singular large project and whipping up something small and cute like this, something that you know you can get done in, you know, a relatively short period of time, like an hour, maybe a lunch break, it actually mentally boosts your state of mind. You feel accomplished because you've finished something. So if you're feeling a little dragged down by a bigger project that you're working on, take a break and make something small, even if it's, you know, not just for you, maybe it's for somebody else, but take a break and make something small, like this little wreath, and it'll it'll fuel you back up because now you've completed something. And there is something to be said for being able to mm -hmm. finish check mark. So uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this. Also thinking this would be good for an ugly Christmas sweater. That actually, in place of the little gingerbread house would make a perfect little ugly Christmas, ugly cute Christmas Make sweater. up six of these and pin them to a sweater. Ugly Christmas sweater and, done. And very quickly. You don't even have to sew them on. Just no, pin them for, just the, pin for them. the party. Just pin them for the party. Yeah. Put one in the back. I love that. <laughs> you can even do those uh, um, battery operated lights. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us on a Friday. We will put all the pertinent links, like we said, in the description box and the pinned comment. Give us a little time. We'll put some. Some nice posts in the community posts for you all this afternoon. Uh, they will kind of come out. And um, we'll see you soon. We're going to have the MMAM border coming. That will be that will be coming soon. That will be definitely within this next week. Um, 
not exactly sure when, so we don't want to say when, but it is coming soon. It's coming quite soon. And uh, that will be the whole calendar blanket project done yes, for 2021. Yes, that will wrap up the blanket uh, uh, tutorials. And, we uh, have uh, daily posts all this month up until the 24th, which is our daily vlog series from 2019, believe it or not. It was 2019. Mm -hmm. That information holds true to today. So yes. if you missed it, there are short little vlogs. It basically is a little bit of crafty loveness for every single Advent day of December the 1st through the 24th. Um, and it's basically what Mr. and Sitches and I do around here to get ready for the holidays. So if you're mm -hmm. curious, um, those will be popping up in your feed every day from now until the 24th. And uh, we will see you soon. We've got some more fun in store for the month if of December. If anyone so. wants to share any photos with us, um, send them to our Etsy shop mm -hmm. message account because that's where we frequent where they're the most yeah um we'd love we'd love to see it's very easy to attach a photo of, to of a your, message uh, there the projects you, you make from our stuff mm -hmm. um and the other thing i wanted to mention was it slipped my mind isn't that amazing yep. well if it's important we'll include it in the community obviously post. it wasn't that important <laughs> Obviously, this is what we sound like on only two cups of coffee. See, two cups isn't enough. Not, enough. not on no. a Friday. No, not on a Friday. No. Anyway, um, <laughs> shout outs to Abroad in Japan channel. Uh, yeah, if you're looking for we love that a little channel. virtual What's travel his around name? Japan, Chris? his name is Chris Abroad. Chris Broad. Chris, Chris, I think it's Abroad. No, it's Broad. But doesn't, is it Yeah, broad? and that's the joke, Abroad. Abroad in I Japan. I think his last name is Broad. I thought he called himself Abroad because he also has a Chris Abroad channel, which I think is where he live streams. I haven't watched any oh. of that, but. Also, anyway, just want to uh, say he does swear, so not a tremendous amount, but he does say the odd, you know, bad words. Put, so if uh, you, put ear earphones on the kids. You know, so maybe so you might want to check him out before you have him playing, you know, when you've got little ones around. So I'm just saying that, but he's lovely, wonderful. His cinematography is great. He's done some fantastic documentaries. And uh, if you feel like a little little trip to Japan, uh, we recommend his channel. He's just some really fun videos. Mm -hmm. um, and his friends are goofy, too. Um, that's it. Guys, we'll see you soon. Take care. Have a lovely Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. If oh, you're that's what I want to ask people. And help um, for those of you that purchase our patterns mm -hmm. and, and work them out, and um, I just want to remind everyone, if you have the time, um, leave us a review. We really appreciate it. Over at our shop. Over yeah. at our shop. Um, you might get a little follow-up email yeah, from Etsy so saying, I think you hey, have to like click this? the click the star level and then you don't you can you don't have to, but you can leave a little blurb. Mm -hmm. So we really appreciate it. We love reading them and it helps. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It, and, and we do like to read them. Oh, and you can also you, you can you post want, a picture too. You can post a public picture to yeah, go along with you your need. and we love that. Plus, yes. you know, people people everybody else can sort of scroll through that and see the photographs that you've you've included. So if you want to do that, you can do that there too. That's really fun. Thanks for reminding me. Uh and yeah, that, Mr. And I forget. I forget all this stuff. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy. And um, if you're recovering from anything. Keep stay a, strong. Keep stay strong. Keep a smile on your face because uh, staying happy helps us and heal. And watch something funny. Yes. Well, if you're feeling a little down, watch some comedies. Watch a show. If you want a good holiday movie and you haven't seen Queen Latifah in Last Holiday, that is one of my favorite holiday movies. <laughs> that is a good one. And I mean, Queen Latifah. Yeah. Oh, but that's she's so really, wonderful in that movie. movie. It's a great movie. It's a super feel-good movie. I absolutely love it. So yeah. um, if you haven't seen that. watch that, that again. Yeah, put that one on your list. Because that one's just, just, just happiness all over it. I love that <laughs> one. Um, yeah, and we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. Have a great weekend, everyone. Mm -hmm. Take care. And look out for the border tutorial. Get your free pattern. Free pattern. Bye-bye. <laughs>